Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. Over the last couple of videos we've looked at working out the electron configuration of elements. In this video I'm going to show you a shorthand way of writing electron configuration. I'm showing you here the electron configuration of the element sodium. Sodium has 11 electrons. So we've got two electrons in the 1s subshell, two electrons in the 2s subshell, six electrons in the 2p subshell, and finally one electron in the 3s subshell. Now one key idea you need to understand is that only electrons in the outer shell are involved in chemical reactions. So in the case of sodium, that's the electron in the 3s subshell. Electrons in the inner shells are not involved in chemical reactions. Now rather than writing all the electrons out like this, scientists use a shorthand version. I'm going to show you how to do this for the element sodium. First we look at the position of sodium on the periodic table. So here's sodium in group 1 period 3. We then look at the noble gas in the period before sodium. The noble gas in the period before sodium is neon. As you can see, neon has 10 electrons. So I'm showing you here how the electron configuration of neon compares with sodium. As you can see, the inner electron shells of sodium have the same electron configuration as neon. And remember that electrons in the inner shells are not involved in chemical reactions. So rather than writing out the whole electron configuration of sodium, we can represent the electrons in the inner shells like this instead. This is called the shorthand electron configuration. Now I should point out that in the exam you always write the full electron configuration unless you're asked to write the shorthand version. Coming up, I'm going to give you some examples to try yourself. OK, I'm showing you here three elements, and in each case I'm showing you the number of electrons. I'd like you to write the full electron configuration for each element, and then the shorthand electron configuration. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, beryllium has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, and the noble gas in the period before beryllium is helium. So the shorthand electron configuration is He2s2. Sulfur has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4, and the noble gas in the period before sulfur is neon. So the shorthand electron configuration is Ne, 3s2, 3p4. And finally, calcium has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And the noble gas in the period before calcium is argon. So the shorthand electron configuration is Ar, 4s2. OK, we're going to finish now by looking at one final example. We're going to look at manganese, which is a d-block element. Manganese has 25 electrons. I'd like you to work out the electron configuration and the shorthand electron configuration for manganese. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, as we said, manganese has 25 electrons. Now, remember with the d-block elements, the 4s subshell fills before the 3d subshell. So the electron configuration of manganese is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d5, 4s2. Looking at the periodic table, we can see that the noble gas in the period before manganese is argon. So the shorthand electron configuration is Ar, 3d5, 4s2. Now you'll notice that in the case of the d-block elements, we show the d-subshell in the shorthand electron configuration, even though these electrons are not in the outer shell. And that's because electrons in the d-subshell can be involved in chemical reactions. In the next video, we're going to look at how to work out the electron configuration of ions.